Hey, Flip Geometry, how you doing? The next step is a small one here. Lesson 4.5 in BGU Press's Geometry 4th Edition is going to be talking about when we can say a triangle is congruent to another triangle and when we can't. So the main idea here is to give you one more um, congruence proof and then give you two situations that you can't use to prove the triangles are congruent and show you why. All right, so let's get right into it here. Um, if I have this triangle and I want to construct a uh, congruent triangle, we've already looked at side, angle, side, angle, side, angle, 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 side. I'm going to give you one more now, and that is side, side, side. And that's kind of the most obvious one, but they save it for last. So here, if I know this angle or this side length, and I can construct this side length and this side length, and I don't know any of the angles, I can construct a congruent triangle, right? So here I have, I draw some line, I pick a point, I measure with my compass how far this is, I make a hash mark, and that intersection is Y. And now I measure with my compass how far this is, and I draw an arc. And I measure with my compass how far this is, and I draw an arc, where the arcs intersect is my next point. And I construct a triangle. This triangle is the same as this one. They are congruent, even though I didn't take any angle measurements whatsoever. If you have three uh, leg lengths that are the same, you have another congruent triangle. So this gives us one more congruence theorem, the side-side-side congruence theorem. If each side of one triangle is congruent to the corresponding side of a second triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. You can't draw them any other way. Okay. Now, that's the last congruence theorem. This one I don't think takes much explaining. It's kind of the most common sense one. But we do need to address two times when you think you might be able to say the two triangles are congruent, but you in fact cannot. One of them is the angle, angle, angle situation. Some people think, well, two angles on a side work. Whether or not the side is in between the angles or outside the, the angles, two angles on a side work. Three sides work. Why wouldn't three angles work? Well, let me show you an example here. Ang a triangle ABC and triangle DEF all have three congruent angles. But notice that I can, like, if this were a, a dynamic object, I could like grab and shrink or grab and pull, and I could make the triangle different side lengths and maintain all of the angles. And so what we have with angle, angle, angle is not congruence, but similarity. These triangles are similar, and we'll get to similarity later in this chapter, or sorry, in the book. Um, but right now we're looking at congruence. Angle, angle, angle does not demonstrate congruence. It demonstrates similarity. Okay. The other thing we need to look at is why angle side side does not work, besides that it's a bad word and you can't use it in a Christian school's geometry class. Um, I'm going to show you why it doesn't work as a, as a theorem of congruence either, right? Side side angle is not sufficient. Here I'm going to take a triangle. If I know that this side length is, this, is the right length, okay, and I know that this angle is the right angle. And now I'm going to say that's all I know. Side length, side length, angle. Um, then I'm going to demonstrate that I can take the same side length here and I can draw it over this way. And I can draw it over this way. I could draw the same length for a third side of the triangle here. Or I could draw it over here. So side, side, angle does not demonstrate triangle congruence. So the big picture from this lesson is just this table, and this is really short. Um, there are several ways to prove the triangles are congruent. Side, side, side works. All three sides are congruent to all three sides. You have congruent triangles. Angle, side, angle works. Two angles, I'm sorry, yes, two angles and the side between them. Then you have two congruent triangles. Angle, angle, side works. Two angles and one of the other sides that's not between them. That works. Side, angle, side. Two sides and the angle between them. That works. But side, side, angle or angle, side, side, no bueno. Okay, can't do that. And angle, angle, angle demonstrates similarity but not congruence. So that's no good either. So this is the, the heart of this lesson. Um, and your questions are going to let you demonstrate how you can prove triangles congruent and give you some opportunities to demonstrate that these do not prove triangles congruent. Okay? Uh, if you have any questions, we'll go over them in class tomorrow. Until then, God bless you. Jesus loves you, and so do I. Good night.